IT governance is the set of policies, processes, and practices that are established to direct and guide the implementation and use of information technology in an organization. The same concept applies to security governance. Security governance provides similar guidance in directing the security function of IT in an organization. The goals of security governance should be aligned with IT governance, and at a higher level with the enterprise governance. There exists another form of governance which is the third-party governance that is mandated by industry standards, contractual obligations, and laws and regulations. It is applied by designating external auditors who could be assigned by the appropriate regulatory bodies, or consultants hired by the organization, and their role would be to check for the application of governance principles. The target organization should know the requirements that it needs to comply with, and it should submit any self-assessments and its security policies to the governing body. This governance extends to third parties that an organization hires, as many organizations rely on the services of those suppliers for business critical operations, such as physical security, technical support, security operation center monitoring and analytics, and cloud services. Those third parties could be a significant business enabler for an organization, or could present additional risks that could cause business disruptions. Security governance audits to be performed should check the compliance of the organization with the stated security objectives and requirements, and should follow specific governance frameworks, such as COVID. The audited organization and the governing body should fully share and exchange relevant documentation. As a first step of the audit, the exchanged documentation is reviewed, and then verified against the standards and requirements. The documentation review includes the business processes and policies, to ensure that they are practical and efficient, and that they support security goals. If the documentation is sufficient, then it is followed by on-site inspections, otherwise the organization would be required to update and correct the missing or non-compliant documents. This is an important prerequisite, because incomplete documentation is probably an indication that an on-site inspection would reach the same result. Failing the audit would result in an organization losing its authorization to operate status, which would require a new full audit to gain it back, especially with governmental contractors.